What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Oscar De La Hoya. And this is what Oscar De La Hoya had to say regarding King Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. He said Ryan Garcia is on a different level than Haney. Haney needs to build his profile first before getting a, a shot at Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia has fought the better competition. He said, no disrespect to Haney. I like Haney. I mean, I love Haney. I love anyone and woman that steps inside the ring. But there's a huge difference between Ryan and Devin, Gar Devin Haney right now. And we're proving in each and every fight. For example, we have um, Javier Fortuna, which is number one in the world. And that's going to be one hell of a fight. Whereas Devin Haney needs to build his profile and he's on a different level than Ryan Garcia with or without the belt. In his case, with the belt. Those are the words of Oscar De La Hoya. Let me counterpunch. As of now, De La Hoya does have somewhat of a point to, to a certain degree. Why? Because as of now, pre Lenatis fight, Devin Haney does have a lesser resume than Ryan Garcia. But if Devin Haney beats Ryan, I'm sorry, if Devin Haney beats uh, Jorge Linares, they will be on the same playing field. Okay? Because between those two guys, if they keep winning, granted, they're only one fight apart. And the only difference is that Ryan has fought Luke Campbell before he's fought Jorge Linares, okay? But if he beats Linares, they will be neck and neck. In fact, I will look at uh, him beating Linares over Ryan Garcia's win over Luke Campbell. Why? Even though Luke Campbell and Linares fought to a very close fight, Linares still beat Luke Campbell. So if he can beat Linares and Linares is still credible, we seen the video footage yesterday of Linares and how he, you know, he's still quick and he's still fast and he still has his wits about himself. I think that Devin Haney at that at that point would be over Ryan Garcia until he fights Fortuna, given what type of uh, fight that produces, you know, what type of performance he produces. So I look at these guys neck and neck. So yeah. Ryan Garcia will have a fight above on the experience level because he would have been in there with Luke Campbell, then Javier Fortuna, and then uh, Devin Haney, just um, Jorge Linares, okay? Because you can scratch out uh, Gamboa because Gamboa was already in there with Tank Davis, and Tank Davis didn't have any business fighting Gamboa. Gamboa is way past his prime. Gamboa was in his prime when he got beat uh, by Terrence Crawford, the great Terrence Crawford, right? So... That, that's been a long time ago, long gone, okay? So we can't even put that in there. That's just basically a keep busy fight. But Oscar De La Hoya continues and says, well, hey, we wanted the Pacquiao fight. We wanted the Tank Davis fight. Pacquiao is fighting in the uh, uh, Arab nations. Uh, and Tank, we all know what happened to Tank. It's unfortunate he has his problems outside the ring, you know, the hit and run situation that he was referring to. And you know, if that time comes after the Fortuna fight, we will then revisit to fight Pacquiao or Tank Davis. Let me counterpunch. That's a sure duck. Okay. What Delahoya said at first, okay, that made a little sense. But now, since you're going to revisit the fight Pacquiao or to revisit the fight Tank, you're ducking Devin Haney. And what it is, is not the fact that Devin Haney got it, has to build his profile. He has the WBC strap right and ryan garcia has the social media following but he's again he's only one fight up from the experience level of devin haney okay and it is not devin haney's fault that he didn't get these fights it's just he's a good enough fighter he's been training with mayweather he's a champion and nobody really wants to touch him because nobody really doesn't want any piece of devin haney really because what happens if Devin Haney, Devin Haney smokes those guys? Devin Haney is in the same situation as pretty boy Floyd Mayweather when Floyd was at 130. That's exactly where he's at right now. Don't worry. If he keeps winning, he will be above all those guys. Just like Ryan Garcia, look at him. No different from De La Hoya. He's like the next De La Hoya. Damn, he damn near looks like him. Looks like an illegitimate son of Oscar De La Hoya. Let's just be real, right? So he will be on that level until he fights these guys. 
that De La Hoya puts in, in front of him. And now De La Hoya has faith in him. So he's going to, you know, be more lenient with him, you know, and give him more liberty to fight these guys after the Luke Campbell fight. You know, he showed he had what he had. Right. So he's going to do that. Whereas Devin Haney, he's going to have problems getting these fights. OK, good or not, because <clears throat> he wouldn't have the profile like these other guys. So um, this is a sure duck because De La Hoya could have said in this in this same article that, hey, we will revisit Devin Haney, okay, after we fight Jorge, uh, uh, Javier Fortuna. He didn't say that. He said, oh, well, we're going to see the Pacquiao fight. Pacquiao's damn near 43 years of age, people. He ain't fought in two years. And I think that's like a little revenge back because Pacquiao beat the shit out of him. <laughs> All bullshits aside. But, um, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, I think that De La Hoya is trying to keep uh, Garcia away from Haney because he's not as popular and he could get beat because they both beat each other in the amateurs and Oscar De La Hoya knows that. And Oscar De La Hoya has the experience of a fighter himself, right? Why? De La Hoya was beaten by Sugar Shane Mosley <laughs> back then. He was beaten by Sugar Shane Mosley, because Sugar Shane Mosley beat him in the amateurs. Sugar Shane knows Mosley knew how to beat him. That's why he went up to 147 to beat Oscar De La Hoya. Devin Haney's no exception tonight. You know De La Hoya knows that because he projects certain things. Certain fighters try to protect their fighters when they become promoters from what they did. Okay? So De La Hoya is just trying to do that. De La Hoya is just trying to keep uh, uh, Ryan away from Devin Haney so he can make more money off of Ryan because he knows Ryan is the mo one of the most popular fighters at 135 because of his social media following and you know all the other stuff about him he's marketable and all this yada 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 De La Hoya knows that so if you put him in there with Haney less marketable and then Haney beats him that makes him less marketable you see what I'm saying counterpunch so that's Oscar De La Hoya's whole take on it he doesn't want any of Haney and that's that. And I don't expect this fight until they get to 147. That's my counterpunch on it. You guys tell me what you think about Oscar De La Hoya's comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.